subscribe to them I'll put them stuff down in my vag um uh <laughs> hey go hey hey <laughs> um, nice link you got there <laughs> so as you saw by the title and the intro which I will put on uh I am reading fan fiction yay what a great start and guess what <laughs> it's <laughs> it's not safe for work. I'll put a warning yes. on. I'll be like NSFW. I remembered. Okay, so okay, I just record. Okay, as you, this is called "After a Nightmare" by Pops Lover on Deviant Dot, and this was requested by my friend Alex, who is Agent Rex, and you should subscribe to him as well. I put his shit down in my badge as well. He probably won't appreciate that, but um, <laughs> you stop that, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, well, okay. So it starts off with a little intro of why they um oh oh. Uh, uh, I don't know whether I should read. Okay, I don't know whether I should read that part. So I do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. So the explanation of this is okay. So the other day, me and I, I, you, I don't know how you say that. We're talking about who would um top between Pops and Benson, and this unholy creation was born. I, I don't think it's bad. I just wouldn't read it. Um, she said Benson would, because he seems, you know, dominant. Oh God! Uh, personally, I think it goes both ways. What? What did you say? I'm gonna cry. Why? Okay, let's start off. Oh my God, no, that would suck. Anyway, shake, shake. <laughs> Them whatever voices come to mind. Mm. I'm contemplating life right now. Contemplating. Mm. Contemplate. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> okay. Deep breath. Let's yeah. just pretend no one is listening. And if they laugh, do I will murder them. <clears throat> shake, shake, shake. Benson. Mm. <laughs> this is totally me. Yeah. To wake up. Please. <laughs> Benson woke to find Pop staring at other things crouched down beside his bed. He was in his striped pajamas as if ready for bed. God, my heart hurts. <laughs> The, the park manager gave a bewildered look before turning to the clock on his nightstand. Two in the a.m. P.M. Uh, that was a reference. The gumball machine groaned. That sounded really sexual when I said that. Um, it's. <laughs> yes. I, went, I said it really wrong. Oh my god. You have to do that when it gets to the good part. Not this. Are you saying I should make noises? Yes, no. Just <laughs> it's two in the morning. What could you possibly be wanting? Yeah, what could you possibly want? He said, sounding very annoyed and a little more harsh than he had originally intended. The lollipop man looked at him with pleading eyes, pleading eyes, glassy, as if on the verge of tears. I, <laughs> I had a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> and the normal machine asked. Uh, I probably should have said that differently. And uh, using a tone sprinkled with sarcasm. Um, 
<laughs> he made an attempt to go back to sleep, turning to his side and resting his eyes. And... Oh, sorry, wrong word. And... And I simply cannot sleep. The park manager... <laughs> the park manager Watson, <laughs> You shut up! <laughs> As his yeah. employer pleaded, yeah. being annoyed by the man's irrational fears. He was such a child. Oh god. Naive, simple-minded, afraid of his own shadow, yet the gumball machine couldn't help feel it, but a bit sympathetic for the man. To be forever innocent such as he was. I'm frightened, Benson. <laughs> the naive man whispered. I'm not gonna comment on spelling. I, I do this sometimes, so don't worry. Don't worry, chill, dude. Chill. Oh, they're just dreams, Pops. They can't hurt you. That sounded a lot stupider. Um, the gumball machine said, fidgeting slightly, <laughs> curling up in his sheets. I just go back to your room and go get some sleep. God, I can't read. I don't want to go back in there on my own, the lollipop man said, sounding disappointed by the weak attempt at comforting him. Please come with me. <laughs> Benson, uh, Benson's eyes cracked open, shocked by su the suggestion. What? He asked, sounding sound very annoyed. Stay with me until I fall asleep. There was silence. That was a silence. Benson took a moment to consider this. <laughs> Did he? There was nothing wrong with helping Pop to sleep, right? <laughs> there was nothing wrong with helping Pop to sleep, right? It was like, like putting a five-year-old to bed. Simple. Easy. But should he really fall asleep in the bed of another grown man? <laughs> Please! <laughs> the plea came out long and slightly whined. I think I did that pretty accurately, actually. Benson finally gave in. Crawling out of bed and rubbing the back of it. Back of head uncomfortably. No, comf. Mm -mm. Let me start that again. <laughs> Crawling out of bed and rubbing the back of head comfortably. His eyes slightly shutting, wanting to let themselves close. Why are you laughing again? <laughs> You're just waiting for the part, aren't you? You. I am so close to reading that part right now, and I am dying. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go get a shirt. Okay. I'm gonna carry on. I'll be right back. Oh yeah, leading him darkness of his room. <laughs> the naive man cracked his door open. He searched out. Yeah, babies. I love babies. Babies. Babies are creepy. Anyway, uh, cracked open his ass door. Uh, he searched out each. <laughs> He searched out each inch of his room, hoping nothing frightening was lurking in its darkness. After being sure the room was secure, <coughs> uh, sorry, he signaled Benson to come in. The power manager rubbed his eyes, slightly dozing off on his way in. Pops laid himself comfortably into his bed, snuggling against his pillows and wrapping himself uh, in his warm, soft blanket. Benson yawned and slipped in beside him. He was so tired. He didn't care. <laughs> he didn't mm -hmm. care, even if he fell asleep in Pops' bedroom anymore, he just wanted some rest. Good night, Benson. GG's. <laughs> God, it sounds really creepy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the lollipop man mumbled, <laughs> nuzzling his face against the cushioning pillow. Sleep. Benson whispered, the faster Pops was asleep, the faster Pops returned to his own bedroom. The naive man nodded, knowing the only, the only other, a sim, <laughs> knowing the other simply wanted to rest. Then there was silence. <laughs> Nothing heard. Nothing said. Now all of a sudden, Benson couldn't sleep. His eyes wandered the room. It was dark, just barely illuminated by the moonshine that came through the window. Benson. <laughs> what the f- 
was going on before the phone was detained. His <laughs> name had been whispered. Ugh. Why couldn't Pops just fall asleep? It was so annoying to be these to play the, to be playing these games so late at night. Benson, just ignore it. Pretend you're asleep and I'll do the same. Benson, what? The pop manager whispered harshly. <laughs> oh, I should have whispered that. What? Silence followed. Just when the gumball machine found it safe to sleep, he heard him. Machine found it safe to sleep. He heard a moan. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm. Um, you don't know how to read this because I, I don't I really feel sexy, feel sexy at the moment. I'm not reading it. Um. Hey, what's up, guys? Um. You've just seen the recording before where I was with my friend. Unfortunately. When I was editing the videos, I noticed that there were a lot of errors. Like, they wouldn't load in the program I'm using. So yeah, you just saw a sneak peek of that little blooper over there. But, so unfortunately there won't be the fun of reading with my friend, and it's even more awkward to read on my own. So, I... I'm taking my time to read it this time because I kind of rushed it so I'm just gonna start from where it, ha it happened which was right at the awkward part <laughs> Jesus Lord have mercy on my body mm-hmm okay uh, I am not gonna do voices for this you can all just poop off. Um. Benson's eyes became wide. He was wide awake now. What was that? He fidgeted his body to try and get a better view. The moon's illumination didn't lie. He could plainly see the bulge in those striped pajamas. Pajama bottoms, sorry. He shivered in slight fear. He hadn't expect anything like this to happen. He heard the naive man giggle before reaching out and grabbing the other's wrists. Benson, being much stronger, could have easily broken the grip. Hell, he could have beaten the lollipop man senseless if he wanted to, but some part of him chose not to. The very little light in the room allowed the part manager to see his employee's expression. He smiled brightly, with just a small amount of pink blushing, and eyes full of wonder and excitement. He looked so innocent and childlike, but the stiffy in his PJ said something else. Beautiful. The lollipop man made his way on top of Benson, pinning him gently by the shoulders and straddling the park manager's hips. Alex, I hate you. Pops couldn't help but giggle happily to his newfound dominance. Jesus Christ. He looked down at Benson, smiling, as if he was a brand new toy, just for him to play with. Ah. The gumball machine looked up to his employer, wearing an expressionless face, eyes simply staring, slightly narrowed and straight-mouthed. He tried to seem unfazed by all that was happening when his mind was actually screaming for him to do something. But he kept it held in. He wanted to see where this was going. He himself knew that they couldn't make this work. Maybe Pops would figure that out and give up. But the lollipop man had other things planned for that night. He hadn't expect things to go this way. But something about having his employee in his bedroom laying beside him? It was just too much. Sure, he was never as determined or motivated as Benson was, but this was worth a try. <sighs> Just read it. Just read it. He gently began thrusting, rocking his rocking hips over Benson, smiling excitedly to the wonderful show and steady friction he was creating. 
Benson gasped at the sudden movement. Oh, God, this cannot be happening. He shut his eyes tightly, trying to imagine he was somewhere else. He felt like a leg being humped by a dog. This was weird, but not horrible. The lollipop man let his head and torso rest over Benson, only moving his lower half, groaning at the marvellous feeling of being pressed to his manager. N N M M M M. Yes. The rumble machine shut his eyes tighter. All these whispers, groans, moans, they were all so disturbing. He felt his shoulders still pinned, but the grip was even softer than before. The body pressed against his was heated. Pop seemed relaxed. Nice. He wondered if the naive man had ever really been with anyone else. He seemed very gentle and, uh, lacking experience. Virgin Benson concluded. Somehow, all the unsteady instill movement resulted in the lollipop man's length slipping into Oh Jesus Christ Benson's slot. No. The gumball machine gasped, his employee taking it as a sign of approval and continuing his movements. The entry felt good. Really good. Jesus Christ. Someone insert Margaret Rose in here. Benson felt warm and tight. The lollipop man grinned wider, increasing the pressure it was putting into his thrust. I, I, did, I did put warnings. Please don't hate me. Okay. The gumball machine below him sighed. The movement before this one was felt strange and awkward, but now it felt good. Really good. I swear I just read that. This was new. He had only known a feeling like this when he touched his knob. <laughs> but even that couldn't compare to how good this felt. The part manager wrapped his legs around the naive man's waist, trying to take in more of him. Jesus Christ. In turn, the lollipop man gave the gumball machine a confused look. Could this really feel good to him? Faster. Benson moaned, <laughs> letting out a breathy moan. His employer blushed at sudden request, but complied eagerly. His speed increased, each of them throwing their heads back to the wonderful friction between their lower halves. Benson. Hearing his name being whispered so lovingly, the park manager sighed. He wrapped his legs tighter, pushing back, letting his hands rest on the lollipop man's shoulders, their foreheads touching, each of them feeling the other's warm breath with each moan and pant. N N N N N N. Something was wrong now. For some reason, Benson felt tighter, and now, oh jeez! Now each thrust felt even more painful, but oh so wonderful. That was disgusting. <laughs> he was close. Just a little more was all he needed. The part manager led his hips buck up just barely noticing the inaudible ow his employer uttered to the sharp push the lollipop man whimpered in pain and pleasure he was getting close <sighs> alex i hate you the combo machine continued his movement bucking his hips up with greater speed taking one hand off the lollipop man's shoulder to grip his own <laughs> no Twisting it in one swift motion, he cried out. That was it. That was all he needed. To hear Benson cry out, just one, once more, it sent him toppling over the edge, pulling his manager with him. Ow! Ended with a cry between, somewhere between a moan and a howl of pain. He gripped his employee tightly as the slight aching turned to wonderful waves of fulfilled pleasure. The gumball machine shuddered. He felt the lollipop man release the warm liquid poured into his pyjamas, leaking through it into Benson's slot. That's, that's nasty. He felt his gumballs drop, but they didn't fall out like they normally would. Ben, uh, Pops was still inside him, blocking their exit. The naive man gave just a few last slow thrusts, wanting to make sure he was finished. When he knew he was spent, he laid his head over that of his part manager, smiling. Love you, Benson, he whispered before dozing off into a peaceful sleep. That had been so perfect. Ah, perfect. He smiled as he slept, giggling about sunshine, lollipops, rainbows, and everything else that was wonderful. Benson laid there. He stared up into the ceiling as if looking for answers. He made no effort at moving the other. He only stared up, eyes wide and full of confusion. He felt as if time itself had stopped. Was all this real? Had that really just happened? Yes, it did. Because he let it happen. He sort of felt sick all of a sudden. He felt violated. Dirty. But surely he'd been lying if he said he hadn't enjoyed it. Not to mention he put so much, just as much, um, 
effort. Besides, it seemed so sincere. He had even said he loved him. But was that true? Pops loved everything. Trains, the moon, lollipops, just about everything and everybody. What meaning does the word have for him? Does he understand what sort of power the word, this word possesses? What sort of effect it has on people? So, Pops loves everything and Benson. But Benson just loves Pops. The part manager just need, felt the need to leave as his thoughts brought him back. He realised they were still in the same position. Pops was still laying over him, legs still wrapped around his waist and his length still inside of Benson. The gumball machine blushed and not having noticed this sooner. Using all of his strength, which was very much, he pushed the other off. Not too harshly, no. He made sure to be gentle. To his favour, Pops did not wait. His slumber continued as Benson placed the naive man over to his side. The park manager sat up stretching. He could finally get up, thank God. He looked down at the lollipop man at his side. The bulge in his pants no longer there. It had been replaced with a huge wet pad at the front of it. Benson smirked slightly. He never knew Pops had wet dreams, and most importantly, about him. The park manager shut the thoughts and took this moment to open his slot, reaching in to be rewarded with three gumballs coated in sticky white. Gross. The mess got all over his hand. He felt a bit disgusted when tossing the three solid orbs into a nearby waste bin. That's a waste! He examined the substance on his hand. White, thick, creamy looking. Smelled like chocolate? Yeah, white chocolate. Licking his fingertips just to be sure. Yeah, it was chocolate. He wiped the rest on the bed sheets, not caring for the mess spread over his hand. He looked once more at the man who was sleeping. How he smiled and giggled, now hot, cuddling a pillow and nuzzling his face against it like it was... Benson? The pot manager decided it was time to return to his own bedroom. He'd promised he'd stay there until the other was asleep. He was now, so his work was done. He reached out softly, kissing the other man's forehead. That's cute! He could have sworn he was. He saw his smile grow wider. Aww. The pot manager looked down at the sleeping other, breathing in his scent. It was light, sweet, very sweet. He finally let himself out, closing the bedroom door as he stepped out into the hallway. He reached once more into his slot. The walls were very slippery. The entire inside was coated with a sticky mess. Ah, it just stopped being cute. The gumball machine groaned in annoyance. Why did they call it dry humping if it always ended up sticky? He made his way into the shower. He never once really regretted what had happened that night. So, thank you all for listening to me reread this. I'm not going to say shit because it's not bad. It's just not my cup of tea. But thank you all for listening. Uh, if you want to leave some suggestions down below, that would be great. Thanks for watching. Bye. This person did a fan fiction which I'll probably read. Um, but they did, and it was the first time I ever heard a regular show, and I was like, so is Benson a girl? But he's a man.